lift your voice and just give him praise tonight and say, Father, I give you all glory and all things. I give you all. I hold nothing back. I will told nothing from you. I will told nothing, Lord, tonight. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is to our God. All praise, all glory. Come on, thank him for things he's done in your life and things he's doing. Father, I want to thank you, God Almighty, for this, your great people, a people you have called to yourself, a people that are redeemed from the darkness of this world. Thank you for making us a people. Lord, we were once no people, you a people. Now we are to the household of God. We thank you, Father, for giving us access, Lord Almighty, to stand before you and to ask and to receive. Father, our faith is strong because your blood was shed. We thank you, Father, tonight for the access. We thank you first for access. We thank you that for we have access to come to the holiest by the blood. And so our prayer is on the back of a dog. And Father, we know that we will be heard because we pray in accordance with your will. We know the blood of Jesus qualifies us, qualifies us for the throne room, qualifies us for the mercy seat. Because the blood speaks mercy. And so, Father God, we're deep into the blood tonight. And we receive mercy. We receive compassion. We receive forgiveness of every sin. We receive redemption, O God Almighty, from our sin. And we receive grace, Father God Almighty. Born to the holiest by the blood tonight. And for this, Father, we are grateful. We do not take your sacrifice for granted. We do not take the cross for granted. You did not die in vain. You did not shed your blood in vain. You shed your blood that we might become friends of God. Thank you, Father, for reconciling us with the Father. Now, Father, our faith is strong. Our eyes are focused. Faith is in our heart to believe you because we know we shall be heard. Be exalted, Father, for what you have done. Be exalted for what you are doing right now. We do thank you, Father God, mighty, for the meeting of Monday and the amazing blessings, Father, it was to families. Like to men, women, to children, Father God Almighty. Thank you for developing families, Father God. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for giving us victory over every work of darkness over our children. We bless you for the breakthrough. This we thank you, Father, because Lord, our homes will guest. never remain the same. But it will be aligned with your will. Thank you, Father, for every home in this place. We thank you for every parent in this place. And we thank you, Father God Almighty. Even for those who join us online, Father God Almighty, and who are listening to us right now, thank you because your blessing rests upon their homes. And thank you because we have got the offspring, Father, that will possess the gate of the enemy. For this, we are giving praise and say, Father, we're grateful. Father, we are grateful for you. We're grateful. We're grateful. What a privilege. What a blessing. Hallelujah. This Amen. Is a demonstration of why. Please you may be seated. Amen. We're going to pray tonight. And. Um, Praise God. I'm going to get the, the musicians to keep on staying and then keep on just playing in the background because we're going to pray. We're going to pray the word of God. We're particularly going to pray the words, the words of healing tonight. And I just want us to create an atmosphere. I want us to create an atmosphere for the glory of God to fill this place. We've been, we've been, we're, we're trying to take a peek into the glory cast. of God. And the Lord reminded me of this scripture when God brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. The Bible says they were laid with silver and gold and there was none sick among them. Which means God is our healer. He is the mighty God. He is the Alagbara. Hallelujah. I say the Alagbara. You are too quiet for me. I say he's the Alagbara. We're not saying that as the song. We actually are declaring that Lord, we know that you are the mighty God, and there is nothing you cannot do. Hallelujah, including healings. And tonight, I want us to particularly seek the face of the Lord for healings. The enemy might have been trying to attack your health, and attack the health of a lot of people in the body of Christ, because he knows that if he can, if he can ground your health, then he can, he can scuttle your, your purpose, and he can, he can hamstring you from moving strong into God's plan for life. But we want to discover from the word and pray ourselves into total healing because healing is part of the package this of our redemption. The blood saved us from sin, but the same blood, okay, 
also has capacity to heal us from sicknesses. Hallelujah. How do I know that? Because the Bible tells me that by his stripes we are healed. Amen. And we just want to in this dedicated time of prayer and fasting because that's where we are right now as a church. It's a, it's a sacred week. Hallelujah. Just to seek the Lord in fasting and prayer and to realign ourselves with God's will for our lives. And we're going to pray this tonight the will of God. Amen. Of Wirecast. What's the will of God? That we can be healed. That we can walk in divine healing and divine health. Amen. Pray with me in the Holy Spirit tonight in Jesus. And so we're going to be praying some healing scriptures tonight. So you can say tonight is, is a night of healing scriptures. Hallelujah. And I do believe that some people who are in surgery, some people are set for some therapy, so some people are set for some, for some uh, um, medication, prescriptions. Power of God will touch you and bring you and align your health with his will for you. He has aligned your finances with his will. He has aligned your marriage with his will. He has aligned your economics with his will. Now he's going to align your health with his will. Can hear I want someone to come tonight with me and say, Father, then if you bless me in my finances, the same way you bless me in my marriage, the same way, Father God, I receive blessing for my health in the name of Jesus. Let's receive it in the name of God. Let's just say, Father, you are the mighty God. We just want to receive healing tonight. It's a plan of God for us to live in health. Whether it's pain in the back, whether it's pain in the organ, whether it's pain in the chest, whether it's pain in the air, whether it's pain in the high. Whether it is seizures, whether it's a blood disease, whether it's a blood disease, whether it's a blood disease, or a disease in the water, or in the, in the tendons or ligaments. Father, it is your will that will be blessed, not only in our jobs, not only in our marriages, not only to raise godly offspring, but also, Father God, to enjoy health. Father God Almighty, with good health, God Almighty, you are promised to satisfy us. So, Father, tonight, Lord, in this sacred season, we're just standing firm in faith and receiving what you already prepared for us. In the name of Jesus, are you ready to pray me tonight? Book of Proverbs, chapter 4. We're just going to pray. We're just going to pray the word of God in the name of Jesus concerning healing, concerning our health. Hallelujah. And if they say health is well, then it's important for me to be healthy, to be so that I can be able to aggressively go forth and enjoy every blessing that God has for me in the name of Jesus. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20 and 21. Verse, Proverbs 4, 20, 21 and 22. Quickly. Say, my son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Verse 21. Do not let them slip out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. This is a for their life to the school for my name and health to a man's whole body. Come on, say with me in the name of Jesus. I claim tonight, I claim tonight the, word God, the word of God in life, life to, me, to me because I have found the word and his health, and it is health to my body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray with me in the name of Jesus. Just pray that in the name of the Lord. That the word of God is health to your body. The same word that saved you is health to your body. And as, if, as the word of God comes tonight, you will be healed of that disease. You will be healed of that disease. In any area where there are experiencing death, dead muscles, dead cells, dead ligaments, dead or dying organs, the Bible says the word of God is life to you because you're found it. Don't claim your prayer and say, Father, come on in my word. Your word is life to my organs right now. Come on. The word, word is life to my organs. Your word is life to my body. In the name of Jesus. Let's receive the healing anointing tonight. In this sacred season, let's receive the healing anointing. It's part of the package. We have a right to be healed. We have a right to have that any gone. That migraine doesn't have to stay. That pain in your soul does not, does not have to stay. That surgery that you have been scaled for is good for. God can intervene by his power, by his spirit. Let's receive healing. Let's hope, don't let's rob ourselves of this blessing. It's part of it. The same anointing that gives us healing and that gives us salvation. It's the same anointing that gives us healing for our bodies. Because his word is life to us because we have found this word. And it is health to our bodies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen.
God's word is, is, is God's medicine. If God's going to heal you, he's going to send his word to you. Let's receive the book of Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3, 7 and 8. Let's pray Proverbs chapter 3, 7 and 8 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So that life of work can be quickened in our mortal body. The Bible says, Paul says, the, 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 the same spirit that raised Christ will quicken your mortal body. The same spirit that resurrected Christ. The resurrection power has the same power to make your body alive. Wire cast. Do not be wise your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Verse 8. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. God sees you that his word will bring health to your body and will bring nourishment because you obey his word. So for as you live holy, as you pay your tithe and you give your offering, you love the Lord and you are committed living a holy life, you have a right to health. Say so in the name of Jesus, name of Father, Jesus, as I have obeyed your commandment, I, obeyed your I receive commandments. health for my body I receive health and for nourishment for my bone. Come on, say in the name of Jesus, I receive health for my body and nourishment for my bone. I receive health for my body and nourishment for my bone. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. For those who have bone problems, whatever it is, rheumatism, arthritis, we speak the life of God right now in the name of Jesus. Because God's word is nourishment to bones. His word is nourishment to my bones. Come and declare the word of the Lord and say, Father, your word is nourishment to my bones. It is health to my body. Your word is health to my body. Your word is nourishment to my bones. By your stripes I have been healed. Come and receive health right now in Jesus' name for your body. Is your body, is your body sick? Is any part of your body sick right now? Receive health. What a God is health to your body. The word of God is nourishment to your bones in the name of Jesus. He is resurrection and the life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. So Father, we receive tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You see, God heals the word. There is power in the word of God to heal. Because Psalm 107, verse 20. Psalm 107, verse 20. We're just praying our healing right, our covenant right of health and healing tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. He sent forth his word and he healed them and he rescued them from the grave. This Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, of you have sent forth your word to me tonight. It's healing me right now and rescue me from death. Come on, in the name of Jesus, I receive your word as it brings healing to my body and rescues me from my grave. Come on, speak in the name of Jesus and say, Father God, I receive this in Jesus' name. Come on, say, Father, I receive your word. You sent your word. Your word heals me. Your word heals me. Your word rescues me. Your word heals my body. It nourishes my bone. It brings my body in the name of Jesus. Let's receive it. In the name of Jesus. He sent forth his word and healed them. God's word heals. God heals through his word. God heals, God heals through his word. God heals us through his word. And tonight, even as we are receiving his word tonight, even as we are receiving the prescribed word of God tonight, and we are taking the dosage of his word, healing and health is our portion tonight. Come on, receive it. Say, Father, I claim healing, I claim health, I claim rescue. My organs are rescued from damage. My, re my organs are rescued from the grave. Come on, speak in the name of Jesus. Have they told you that your organs are not functioning? Something in your lungs, something in your pancreas, something in your kidney, something it's in your in your liver. We receive right now in the name of Jesus. Balosha You send forth your word and you heal me. You send forth your word and you rescue my organs from the grave. No organ will die in my body. My lungs will not die. My kidneys will not pack up. My pancreas will not pack up. My liver will not pack up. My kidney will not pack up in the name of Jesus. Come on. Friends, let's receive tonight. It's our covenant right. We have no right to engage, to, 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 to carry health, the disease in our bodies. It is not for us. It is not for our children. It is not for our loved ones. Let's enter into the blessing of the covenant. And say, Father God Almighty, this does not skip us anymore. We have a right to be healed. Send forth your word and you heal me. Receive healing for yourself right now and receive a rescue. The Holy Ghost rescues my body. Is what rescues me. Come on, in the name of Jesus to the night. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You see, healing is God's will for you. In as much, just like it, your, it, it is your right to prosper, to have a good job, to live a healthy, to live, to live a good life, and to have all needs in your life met. It's the same way. In the same way, healing is God's will. Healing is God's will for you. Hallelujah. One of the truths about healing, for instance, is in heaven. I know 
Jesus told us to say, Lord, let your will be on earth as it's done where? In heaven. So in heaven, there is no sickness. And Jesus said, we will just pray the will of the Father upon the earth. And what will of upon the earth? That there will be his, there will be healing, there will be health in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That those who are suffering from diseases will be healed. And that those who, want to, who can stand in the faith will walk in the divine health. Hallelujah. Because that is the will of God. I said that's the will of God. Hallelujah. So that's the will of God. And so, there's no wrongness in heaven. There's no oppression. There's nobody oppression in heaven. Hallelujah. And we want to establish this on the earth. Scripture says, Father, I'm sure that God will not be able to die. He will not be able to die. God can heal all effects. His birth is sufficient to heal us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The book of Jesus verse 19 says that. In the book of 3 John, Let's read the name of Jesus. 3 John verse 2. Look at 3 John verse 2. Say to me, Father, let your will be done in my body as it is in heaven. Let no sickness find its place in my body. There is no sickness in heaven. There is no bodily, rot bodily rottenness in heaven. So my body cannot be rotten. No gangrene in my body. No gangrene in my body. No festival. No, no festered wound in my body in the name of Jesus. And speak to your body in the name of Jesus. And say, Father, it is your will in heaven that there is no rottenness, that there is no sickness. Father, let your will be done in me, in the earth. Let your will be done in me, in the earth. It is your will that I live in health. It is your will that I live in sound health. And so, Father, let your will be done in Jesus' name. Third John, verse 2. And he says this, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health. And that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting on well. So your soul is getting on well, enjoying revelation knowledge in the Lord. The same way you have the right to have your body healed. In the same thing, in the same provision. So say me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I enjoy good health. In the name of Jesus, it is well with my organs. It is well with my system. It is well with my head, my blood, my bone, my heart. No heart problem. No cardiac arrest. Cholesterol diseases you have to Cholesterol, blood is you have to go in the name of Jesus. It is God's will that I enjoy good health. So I claim good health in the name of Jesus. I claim wellness in my body in the name of Jesus. As my soul prospers, my health prospers. My health prospers. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You are speaking in tongues. You are taking your tongues to another level. So also, your health should go to another level. That is all in the word of God. It's in God's plan. You have no right to speak in escalated tongue where you can't have escalated health. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because the same blood, the same blood, the same blood, the same blood. So let's claim. Let's claim what is our covenant right. Let's claim what is our right in the Lord. It's a covenant right. It's a covenant blessing. For those of us who come to God through Christ, by the blood. So Father God Almighty is saying, we, have, we enjoy good health. I enjoy good health. I enjoy good health. Good health for my bones. Health for my blood, health for my, for my heart. I remove cholesterol, blood disease, Father God Almighty. Eyesight defect in the name of Jesus. Father God, dysfunction in my organs, my internal organs. My liver works well. My kidney works well. My pancreas works well. My lung functions well. My blood and my water function well. There is no corruption. There is no rottenness in my bones. There is no corruption.